Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how to use javascript in an html file. There are two common ways to use a javascript in an html file. The first way is using a tell javascript where you write a javascript code directly in the html file. The second way is using external javascript where you write your code in an external javascript file. I'll show you both of them in this video. So let's get started. Let's create an index file here, index.html. Let's have a basic html structure. Let's have one element here that will be button. Text will be click me. Let's use a style attribute just to center line it and make it look a bit better. Margin will be zero and auto. Display will be block. And padding will be five pixels. Now for the internal JavaScript, you simply need to use a script tag at the bottom like this. And here we are going to select this button and on the click will display an alert message. So let's create a variable here. It will be PTN element. We'll select the button like this by using a query selector. Now let's add a click event listener to it. This will be the handler function. And upon click, we'll simply call the alert method with a message hello world. Just save it and let's open this file in the browser. Click on this button. You can see we are getting the alert message. So you have seen how to use internal JavaScript. Now it's time for external JavaScript. For that we need to create a file here script.js. Just take this code and paste it here save it now the index file just remove these tags this time we are going to use a script tag with a source attribute and source will be script.js in case you are using some directory for example assets or js simply need to provide the folder here like this js slash script.js in my case it is in the same directory so i'm using script.js just save it. Now let's go to the browser to see if it is working or not. Click on the button so you can see it is working. So these are the two ways that you can utilize to use a JavaScript in an HTML file. One is internal JavaScript and the second is external JavaScript. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.